consent to address the House for one minute, sir. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, after three long years of COVID restrictions on May 12th, the United States northern border finally reopens fully to our Canadian neighbors. This is a turning point rebuilding the relationships and economies along the U.S.-Canadian border. In, 19, in 2019, prior to the pandemic, domestic and international travel spending reached $3.1 billion in my Western New York district alone. As we emerge from a global health crisis and celebrate National Travel and Tourism Week, let's seek out opportunities to encourage and ease travel in the United States. This includes adequately funding federal agencies to support travel, investing in infrastructure and modernizing nexus and passports to improve the travel experience. Together, we can highlight U.S. destinations ready to be explored and grow the economy. I yield back.